I uh, wanted to do a quick video on uh, registering your ProLink IQ. So I've got a brand new one here in the box. This is a, a one a hardened case and uh, with all the foam cutouts and adapters and so we're going to be firing this thing up for the first time and look at the registration process. So let's uh, peel this open. And, uh, and in the lid, you'll find a fault code book. And then in the, uh, the top foam cutout there, back up so you can see, the top foam cutout has the ProLink Ultra and the communication cable. So I slide that out on the bottom. You can see here I have some, uh, some adapters, uh, not all of which you'll need. Uh, this big one here is the PLC adapter. You can see uh, this is for tractor for the trailers on tractor trailer ABS, and so scanner cable plugs in there, and then uh, this is a pass through for the uh, between the tractor and the trailer. There's a power supply which you probably never use because the ProLink Ultra powers off the truck and charges off the truck. Uh, six pin adapter, nine pin regular adapter. There's also a nine pin off road cat adapter. If you're going to talk to cat off road equipment, you'll need to because it has a different uh, um, a different tab in there, so this won't connect to, to cat off road equipment. There is a 16 pin OBD2 connector. And, uh, and I, in this one, I have an adapter you probably won't need very much. This is uh, the old GM 12 pin for some old Detroit diesel stuff. Uh, we run across a little bit of that stuff in the military, but not anyplace else. And then at the bottom, uh, we have our CD. And this is uh, so whatever software you bought. So let's say you bought Allison Transmission, Bendix Wabco, and Mercedes Benz. You would have a CD for each one of those software titles. But if you buy the, the Elite kit, it comes with all of the software and, uh, and a single software code. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So let me get this stuff put back in the box. And inside of here is going to be a registration number that we're going to need there. And, uh, and we'll punch that in here in a little bit. So uh, anyway, first thing, uh, first order of business is to get this thing fired up and get an internet connection because we're need, gonna need an internet connection to create an account and register the software. Screen flicker that you're seeing on the camera, of course, is not on the unit, but it is if you try to film it. The first thing we're going to need to do is get an internet connection. And uh, so for that, I'm going to go to the admin button down here. And then configure device. Manage networks. Wireless networks. And it sees the one I have here in my shop. So I'm going to have to click connect. And now it's going to ask me for a password. And uh, hang on a second here while I punch that in there. Almost done. All right. Uh, so um, after you uh, or after you get your password in there, uh, you hit the minimize button down here in order to get rid of the keyboard. So that goes away, and then click connect. One moment, please. All right, we're connected, so we're going to back out of this menu. So back, back again. Oops. So manage user's account. And uh, we are going to create a new account. And then you will make up your own username, whatever you want to punch in this box. Make up your own password. It has to be a minimum of six digits long. Name, address, city, state, uh, confirm your password, you know, so all of your contact information. And when you're done, you click create. So I'm not going to 
make everybody sit here while I do this. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to create my account and then we'll come right back. All right, after you've set up your user account, you're going to go back into Manage User Account. And I'm going to say, this device must be registered in order to access this feature. Would you like to register now? Yes. So now you'll punch in your username and password. I'll do the ones I just created. And then it says, login was successful. Are you sure you want to register this to Joe R, which is my user account name? And, you, and your user account name would appear there for whatever you created. So click yes. This device was successfully registered to Joe R. Perfect. And uh, so now this thing is, uh, it is, uh, is ready to go. However, we still need to register any of the software that we have purchased. So uh, from this menu, and so if you're forgetting where we are, again, you go admin, then register applications. And now it says, enter the product key for the software that you, that you have on your software case. Once you get that uh, 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 product key entered in there, minimize your keyboard, register this application. After you've registered it, uh, or any particular product key, it's going to ask if you have any more. And uh, so, of course, this is if you're going to have, if you have individual software. So, again, if you bought Bendix and Wabco and Allison and, uh, you know, whatever other software, when you registered it, uh, you, would you would register all those CDs individually. So I don't have any more because I did an elite kit, which is punch in one number and you get all the software. So I'm going to say, no, I don't have any more software. And, uh, and notice that we have a little icon up here on top and it says, uh, you know, this little uh, alert sign. And anytime you have that, there are some free software updates that you need to download and install. So whether they patches or whatever. So let's see what we've got. I click install updates and it gives me this whole list. So I've got a new bundle, all new Allison stuff. I mean, holy cow, look at all these. So, uh, so just about every application has been updated it. And so you need to do this as soon as you get your unit because, uh, probably software has been updated or, uh, or changed or modified. Uh, since you got it. So anyway, I'm just going to click install and then you'll see here it starts to show which ones are downloading and then if, uh, I want to get through the first one at least so the second one appears here. So it's going to download it and then it starts to install it and then uh, it'll go to the next one and, and so on and so it'll take a couple of minutes here. So notice the top one now is installing the new bundle the other ones are downloading very quickly, and as soon as they're downloaded, then the next one will install, and so on. And you'll just do this until it completes. As we get down to the bottom here, you see uh, the screen flash by that we were uh, done downloading all of our software, and then the screen pops up and says, this device must restart in order to complete the install process. You click OK. You're just going to shut down, reboot, and as soon as it reboots, then, uh, then that's it. You are ready for action. So there's uh, another thing I want to show you here. So we're going to wait until this machine boots. So if you want to know if everything went correctly, you go admin and then view system details over here. And this will show you all of your installed applications. So notice it says registered, registered, registered. If not, if it's not registered, then it'll tell you uh, you have 9 out of 10 free trials left or whatever. Because uh, you are allowed 10 free tries of every single software package. 
uh, if you didn't purchase them. And then after the 10th, they'll say, uh, you know, call your Snap-on rep in order to in order to get the software. So you could buy it, install the uh, product code for it, and then unlock that software. But uh, but even if you don't own it, you have 10 free trials. Uh, last but not least. Uh, we did uh, our install updates again and that's when you get your little triangle icon up here and it says there's some free downloads so uh, connect your ProLink to the internet you know at least every couple of weeks anyway and see if there's any patches or, uh, or any updates for it and if there are install them like we just did and uh, there's another button over here and this one it does not give you automatic push messages so you won't get a little icon on top you're gonna have to check in here periodically uh, so go to the admin button, install applications, and what it does is it goes to the Snap-on server and then looks to see if there's new stuff out. So let's say we came out with a new product to cover a new system or a new engine uh, or, or have a software that's going to be a purchased update. It would appear in here. And so if there was anything new out, we would click on it, install it, uh, it would download it to the machine, and then you would have 10 free trials of that software just like you owned it. And, uh, and after those trials expired, again, if you have something you needed, something you wanted, you can contact your Snap-on rep, uh, enter a product key for it, and, uh, uh, and then own it. So anyway, that's, uh, that's all there is to unboxing your ProLink Ultra and uh, getting connected to the internet and registering the unit and registering the software.